Anyone at the back? Just start clapping if you can, and then I'll start talking louder, okay? Um, okay, even louder, okay, that's fine. Um, so first of all, welcome to Oxford Hack 2019. It is incredible seeing all of you in this room, and I hope you're all as excited as I am, because I really think we're going to create some amazing things together this weekend. So yeah, looking forward to that. Um, I want to both thank you and congratulate you for being here. We've had 744 applications, if I remember correctly. Uh, so if you're here today, it means you've really earned your spot, so you should be proud of yourselves, and I hope that's even more of an incentive for you to make the most out of this event. But, we're in a very symbolic place for Oxford. Uh, this is the Maths Institute, and it's a symbolic place both for Oxford and for Oxford Hack. Because we've been having this hack year for like five years now, I think. So, uh, we even inspired our design from the Penrose styling outside, just at the main entrance. Oh yeah, I want to take a moment to thank the committee. Um, our little dream team, as we like to call it. Um, so, I just put the faces up there so that you know who we are. So, I'm just going to go over uh, from left to right. First one is me. Hi, I'm Alex. Um, uh, okay, just a round of claps if you really want to applaud <laughs> everyone. Next one is Sherwan. Um, okay, then we have Ben. Um, Uh, then we have Ed, we have him here. Woo! You're going to see more of him in a bit. <laughs> and we have Josh, who is hiding there. Um, I also want to thank the sponsors. We couldn't have done it without them either. So, uh, the sponsors that we have are Platinum sponsors, Microsoft and Cisco. Our Gold sponsor, Optiver. Our silver sponsors, Dane Street, Onimobi, and Capital One, and our bronze sponsors, Palantir, Arm, and IMC. So, yeah, let's just take a moment to give them a round of applause. Okay, uh, one more thanks for me. Uh, I want to thank the corners as well, or friends of the Oxford Hack, as we like to call them. Uh, we have Major League Hacking, um, Oxford Artificial Intelligence Society. Start Me Up, uh, Oxford Foundry, Sticker Mule, and Oxford University Comstock, the Computer Society. Uh, so yeah, if, since we were putting everyone, let's just do this again. I think that's everything from me. Um, I would say just enjoy, let us know if you need anything, and I really, really hope you make the most out of this event. Listening to. Oh, I, I was listening to lo fi hip hop beats to study slash relax to 24 7 mix. Well, it's funny you should say that. Don't you guys ever think that it would be great if there were a way of automatically generating lo fi hip hop beats so that you ran out never? I think about that literally all the time. There is nothing else that I think about. My thoughts are consumed by the desire for more lo fi hip hop beats to study slash relax slash chill to. Well that's great because our project is to automatically generate lo-fi hip-hop beats to study slash relax slash listen to. Just go to GitLab. For our 
challenge, but also sort of get a better idea of what the broader image looks like. Now, that being said, um, this is the walk breakdown. The first part I'll be doing, the second part Patrick will be doing. I'll be talking about markets, how they work. Hi. Hi. Which university do you guys come from? We're all from the same university, University of Oxford. We're doing the same course, the Master in Computer Science. Nice. And how do you guys find the event so far? Well, uh, the event's pretty good so far. Uh, I mean, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, the, the experience uh, is very good because um, uh, the place here, uh, it's, it's very nice. The, in the Mathematical Institute of uh, University of Oxford, and uh, you, it's, it's pretty inspiring. I mean, you enjoy coding here. And also, the, workshop, the workshops we had before uh, were very interesting, in particular, uh, Microsoft's workshop, which I attended. Uh, it taught us a lot of things about their cloud service, Azure, and I, I, find it, uh, I found it a lot of interest. Perfect. And uh, what sort of project are you on to? So we're doing the, uh, the October, the sort of simulated market data one, where we're uh, essentially sort of trying to write uh, an algorithm to make money on their, uh, yeah, simulated stock market. They've got sort of two, uh, what's the word again? Two financial instruments. Yeah, two, uh, two, uh, going. two stocks. Yeah. Yeah. Ba basically, we, um, uh, our goal is, is to develop a strategy uh, that will predict the price of two, um, two simulated stocks mm -hmm. uh, in order to uh, invest uh, at the appropriate time uh, with ultimate goal to get revenue back, uh, to get more money. So have you guys found any difficulties until now? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, yeah, the machine learning method uh, hasn't worked so oh. far. Um, we haven't uh, spent a huge amount of time on that so far, so maybe we'll fix that later, but it's not looking too hopeful. Uh, but the method that you're doing at the moment seems to be, that's the one that you're saying is profitable, and that's working pretty well. So we've sort of, we sort of separated the team we were working mm -hmm. on different things and one of the branches has worked quite a lot better than the other one. Yeah. It's very good that in the challenge that we are uh, currently com uh, com uh, in the competition, uh, we, have, uh, like, we have something like live, uh, uh, live results of our strategies mm -hmm. so we can see the profit each team, each team produces and uh, uh, it is it, 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 it uh, awakes uh, the challenging spirit, I can say, because yeah. you see that the other team's better than you, and you want to you want to improve in order to catch up. And uh, we are profitable. I mean, I believe that uh, we are competitive as a team. We we don't have the best performance, but um, it's good because we want to improve our strategy in order to possibly be the best. So both of you mentioned the team. How do you guys find uh, find it working in, in this particular team? Uh, like how, for example, how did you manage to, to split the tasks? And how did you manage to overcome the solution by assigning people to different problems and stuff like that? I so, um, so we, we haven't exactly overcome the solution just yet. <laughs> that might happen in uh, 12 hours time. But uh, so at the moment, uh, it just sort of happened uh, pretty naturally, we said, like, I'd like to work on this, I'll give this a yeah. try. This in particular is a project that's sort of just, at the end of it, there'll only be one uh, sort of algorithm, there'll only be one program using one technique that we'll actually deploy. Mm -hmm. So the way that we're doing it is we're trying different things, we'll see what performs better, um, and then we'll use that. Uh, so it works, it works very well doing different things and then just comparing it at the end. Do you have any feedback for us, for the organizing team, for us, or hack in general? Uh, well, it's pretty nice so far. Uh, I liked it a lot. Uh, 
possibly if the workshops uh, were not in the competition time, mm -hmm. if the workshops were outside the competition time, because I wanted to attend all of them because they are all inter they were all interesting. Yeah. However, uh, there was a trade-off that uh, if you attend a workshop, uh, you lose uh, from the time you you have to complete your project. So yeah. Uh, you only attend the ones that you are pretty interesting in their subject. And I would prefer if it were outside the time competition. Cool. Thank you and thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. much.